Good to say to you, I'm Storm Team 9 meteorologist Patrick Ellis here with your ENC weather update for this Tuesday, August the 6th, 2013. It was an alright day, a mixture of sun and clouds and a few sprinkles here and there. We didn't see really any rumbles of thunder, just a few sprinkles. Uh, tomorrow, we will have a chance for a shower or thunderstorm through the afternoon hours as a typical summertime pattern does set up. Let's go ahead and get you into the forecast here uh, as we go into the next several days. Here's a look at uh, the scans across the area right now. A few little sprinkles just north of Greenville out towards, say, uh, Stokes and uh, Hollywood Crossroads this evening. These are kind of uh, transitioning off towards the uh, north and the east fairly slowly. Just a little, uh, few little sprinkles. Also, over in the southern portions of Washington County, south of Plymouth this evening, seeing a little shower east of, uh, west of uh, uh, Lake Phelps and also out along the uh, Alligator River this evening, also out towards East Lake and Buffalo City. I've seen a few showers out and through that area and up to the north, up into uh, portions of Halifax, also Herf uh, Northampton, Hertford, and Gates County. Seeing some showers. The heavier downpours off towards the uh, uh, the east offshore this uh, evening. We have seen a few showers as uh, you make your way down towards the. Uh, the south, a little short wave of energy moving through the flow today. We've seen some high and mid-level clouds through this afternoon across eastern North Carolina, and that's what has kept the uh, temperatures from ballooning so much today, but a lot of showers and thunderstorms right here. A big ridge of high pressure right in through here, and around that, the the uh, the uh, ring of fire setting up. We'll talk about that here in just a second. But as far as us is concerned, high pressure off towards the north and east of us, and we've just been seeing these high and mid-level cloud uh, today not doing very much and just these few little sprinkles here and there 81 degrees currently in greenville as well as washington and moorhead city 82 for jacksonville 81 for keenansville 84 for kinston now last night when we were talking about dew points uh, they were into the upper 50s and lower 60s not the case today. We're back to near normal values for this time of the year into the mid and upper 60s to near 70 degrees. So the moisture has returned in a big way across eastern North Carolina over the uh, past, say, 12 to 24 hours. Now here's the setup going into tomorrow. High pressure is still offshore, still bringing us a return flow, southeasterly flow off of the Atlantic Ocean. That's going to continue to bring the moisture in, and that's going to continue to keep the humidity pumping into the area. In the upper atmosphere, we have a ridge of high pressure that's over Texas right now. That's what you were seeing on the satellite and radar composite. There was just a little note of nothingness right in through here. And uh, along that, north of that, we have uh, the ring of fire setting up. Basically, around a ridge of high pressure, you can have the uh, you have the showers and thunderstorms that will pop up around that. And over the past several days, we've seen so much rainfall up and through this area. Several MCSs, uh, mesoscale convective systems, dropping through here, dumping lots and lots of rainfall. And unfortunately, it looks like that's going to be the pattern in the next couple of days until this ridge can kind of break down and uh, let loose. Uh, temperatures through this area also very hot. Uh, Mobile, Alabama today, high temperature, 96 degrees. Uh, same things back over towards uh, the Mississippi Delta, southern portions of uh, Arkansas, and back into Texas near 100 degree temperatures. Heating the seas well above that. A lot of moist air in place over there. But they're going to have to deal with flooding concerns as we head through today and uh, going into the next couple of days as that MCS train continues uh, with that system. Now we had the two high pressure systems and a little low pressure system kind of trough in the middle. And it's going to spit out these little, uh, little nodes of energy here and there. Here's a look at the precision forecast model. We've got a few showers up to the north. Uh, obviously, we've seen that this evening. Uh, that'll continue to be the story going into the next few hours. Things start to clear out. Then we'll get the uh, mix of sun and uh, clouds and, uh, and stars tonight. We'll go to the uh, mid and upper 60s, a few low 70s to start off tomorrow morning. Now, tomorrow afternoon looks all right. We'll go with a mix of sun and clouds. Uh, overall, won't be too bad of a day. A few isolated sprinkles, uh, maybe a shower or thunderstorm through tomorrow afternoon. High temperatures, mid-80s. A few spots with enough sunshine will touch the upper 80s. Even going through the evening hours, that's likely we're going to see our best chance for uh, a smattering of showers and thunderstorms. The overall pattern is going to stay in that more typical summertime pattern as we head towards Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Now, I have uh, kind of shifted and altered the uh, seven-day forecast as far as uh, 
where the rain chances are. We're going to go with a 20% chance on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Typical summertime pattern. Uh, we're still going to be underneath a, a influence of high pressure with that high pressure ridge moving off towards the east. Once it finally moves a little further to the east, it will start to uh, shift the winds up towards the uh, towards the south and west. That's when we're going to get our better rain chances in here, uh, heading towards say late on Saturday into Sunday. I think the best rain chances on the forecast period are likely going to be on Sunday into Monday and also into Tuesday as well. Uh, but the better rain chances do start to move in here later on Saturday. I think Saturday afternoon should be okay. You'll see a scattering of showers and thunderstorms. Later on that evening, that's when we get another round in here that could be a little bit troublesome at times. Uh, not looking for any severe weather, but something to watch. Uh, and then uh, temperatures will be quite warm. That ridge builds in here, 91 for both for, uh, for all Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I did decide to bump up the temperature on Sunday. Looks like the ridge will hold just a little bit longer. The heights will be up there as well. We go mostly cloudy on Monday and on Tuesday with decent rain chances. And once again, like I was saying the other day, these rain chances are going to have a good chance of going up from here we may be uh, talking about 50 60 percent chances of rain as we head towards the uh, Saturday, uh, Sunday Monday Tuesday uh, across the board here and with the rain that's going to bring down temperatures as well still going to be quite muggy you see those overnight low temperatures in the uh, mid 70s through the middle portion of the week so it is going to be quite warm quite muggy back to a more summertime feel after starting off the week with uh, such nice dry conditions That'll do it for me here on the ENC Weather Update for today. You can always stay up to date with us on Facebook as well as Twitter and on WNCT.com. Next update here won't be until Friday afternoon. Chief Meteorologist David Sawyer will be back in tomorrow to keep you updated on the television sign. You can also tune in tonight at 10 o'clock on the CW and 11 o'clock right back on WNCT. Have a great evening and a great weather week.